Hi everyone, happy Wednesday to you. Did I make another tunic? Of course I did. Quick sew, 3954. We're all sick of seeing this one, but it's a good one. So I made this one out of some black knit that looks, it's got like a wet look to it. I thought it was so great when I bought it from Walmart and it wasn't much fun to work with. So now I don't think it's so great. I did a little bit of top stitching in pink. I don't know if that shows up. Well, I have a slight problem. I want to show you everything. I want to show you all my 60s patterns. That little bag, that's all full. That's all full. I want to show you my new quick sew patterns. Love quick sew, love to buy them when they're $3.99. I want to show you all of my simplicity patterns that I got at Joann today. I want to show you all of my McCall's patterns that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I want to show you this stack of fabric that goes all the way down to here. We don't have that much time. So, um, 60s patterns, quick sew. Oh, hey, I wanna give a shout out to Marilyn and Olivia, two wonderful people that I chatted with in Joanne today, and it was a delight meeting them. And we were in the pattern section and they were there buying some simplicity patterns and I said, hey, head down the road to Hobby Lobby, McCall's are $1.99. And Marilyn said, oh, we picked up our McCall's last week at Joanne. Yay, sewing! Um, shall we do, you know what we'll do? We'll do a few 60s patterns. We'll do a few quick sew, a few simplicity, and a couple pieces of fabric. And I'm just gonna go until we reach 15 minutes and I'll save the rest for next time. Now, one last thing I wanna say before we get into this. I love what you write to me. I think I've said that before. And I wanna write back to each and every one of you and I love chatting and sometimes we go back and forth but I don't think I can get to everybody. So here is my disclaimer and apology all rolled into one. If I have not gotten back to you and you've left me a comment, I'm really sorry about that. I have definitely read your comment. I wanna write back to you and I'm gonna try, but sometimes these things get away from me. I know that I spent four hours yesterday morning um, writing to people. So, simplicity, 60s patterns. We're gonna start off with one that is probably, I know I sat on my glasses over here. Hold on a minute. Well, after all that, I thought this was a 1970s pattern, but it is a 1960s pattern. It's 1969, and that is Simplicity 8611. Oh my gosh, how groovy is that? I don't usually look very good in, a, in anything gathered directly under the bust. Did that stop me from ordering the pattern? Of course not. I could move the elastic down to the waist. That's an option. Oh, look at this. Simplicity 7532, we have little yokes. Oh my goodness, I love yokes. I just absolutely love them. This one came in a nice plastic wrap. Simplicity 7532, size 14, bust 36. Now, um, Size 14 used to always be bust 34. And then they kind of rearranged the sizes around. This is McCall's 7258. 
I got a lovely little card. Look at this. She enclosed a card that says, I can't thank you enough. And then, you know, writes a little note. So these came off of Etsy. 7258, love the little top. Let me take it out of this so it's not real shiny. Little button up top. You can put a collar on it if you'd like. And we have another dress with a yoke. This is McCall's 8959. Some pleats there on the skirt. Love it. Now you'll recall that those 1960s dresses, they put a lot of darts into them. So you can see darts on the sleeves and darts on the shoulders. They often had fisheye darts in the back, fisheye darts in the front, French darts, you name it. Butterick, torn up Butterick. It is 3494. This is a designer pattern. This is an early Jean Muir. I'm gonna talk about Jean Muir a little bit more at length in another video, but check this out. Now, you don't get the hat. <laughs> Darn, I really wanted to wear that hat. Actually, what I wanted out of this pattern was that coat, that jacket that ties the top. And that is Butterick. They do not put the years on their patterns. Butterick doesn't. McCall's and Simplicity do, and I can guarantee these are all from the 60s. Here's one from 1965. McCall's 8124. Classic, adorable. You know, I love plain dresses. I don't need a lot of embellishment on my dresses, so something like that appeals to me quite a bit. And you can sew them out of quilting cotton, and then the Fabric is the highlight and not all of the style of the dress. All right, I'm gonna show you a couple quick sews if I can find them. Okay. I only ever get my quick sew patterns off of the McCall website because they will mark them down to $3.99 and that's the lowest I can find them. They're more than that at Hobby Lobby. They're more than that at Joanne, Walmart doesn't have them. eBay, they tend to be kind of pricey. So I got some real basics from Quixo and I have another order coming. What, you think, you, you think I have a problem buying patterns in fat? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm on top of this. This is Quixo 3766, basic t-shirt. Well, after making this tunic four times in rapid succession, I'm a big believer in their knit basics. So there is one. I also picked up this little jacket and it's, you know, that's different. That's a different silhouette for a jacket because it's shaped, it's got a round collar and I thought it was just so appealing for spring. That is Quick Sew 3334. Is it lined? It is unlined, okay? This you've seen a million times. That, that shirt I make for Brad, I just wanted to have an extra one just in case. And let's show this pretty little dress for spring. This reminds me of that released pleat dress that I sewed from Vogue, and I love it. Uh, so this is Quick Sew 4097, and here you can see how it is designed. It's got the released pleats. They're a little further down toward the waist, which is different from that Vogue party dress. I'll put the number of the Vogue party dress in the description. Well, there's our little Quick Sew preview. Uh, McCall's, I'm gonna try a Kalaya Ali pattern. I thought the dress was adorable. That is McCall's 7635. And you get the pants. 
I don't think I'm gonna do the waterfall jacket just because they describe it as very loose fitting and those tend to come out very loose fitting, big surprise. So I'm going after the dress, the top, and the pants. Colin wants a pair of shorts out of this fabric. I'm gonna show you the fabric. It came from Fabric Mart. It is very unique. It looks like horse racing at Del Mar, where the turf meets the surf. I showed it to him. I said, hey, what do you think of this? He loved it. He loved it. He said he sees shorts. So I picked up McCall's 7668. Now you'll notice this is for knits. But Colin is very particular about how he wants his shorts to fit. So he doesn't want them to be baggy, but he doesn't want to fly zip on them. I think what he's sort of going after are basketball shorts out of woven but not baggy, I have been told. No, not baggy. I'm gonna try <laughs> and work with this pattern out of this woven fabric. It has, does it have the sticker? Oh, you don't care. It's, um, it's like a cotton twill, okay? Um, simplicity, I'm so thrilled. Their brand new patterns are out and Joanne had them. So kicking off my simplicity is a hacking pattern. Simplicity 8888. Look at that. I have a similar dress. If I were better prepared, I'd have it out to show you. Another simplicity dress that I bought that has the straight panel and then a little bit of gathering to either side. And it came with sleeves and pockets on the front. So they're similar. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, another one that I thought, well, I shouldn't get it. No, I don't really like it, but of course, no, I didn't say I didn't like it. I thought I can't sew that, it's gonna take too long. But look at the shorts outfit. I want that shorts outfit. This is simplicity. 10144. They're in the 10 thousands now. And I flipped for that outfit right there with a pair of, you know, platform espadrilles. So cute. There are um, pleats in the top to shape it, pants, shorts, a sash. You get it all. And then the last simplicity one I'll show you for now. I gotta keep all this straight, what I've shown you, what I haven't shown you, uh, is Simplicity 8874. This is for knits, and it's very plain. However, look at this, look at that little detail. The sleeves, you can put ties on them. You can choose a long ankle length, which is something I adore, or you can go shorter. And again, this is designed for knit fabrics. Simplicity 8874. All right, that was our pattern fix. Now I'll show you a little bit of my fabric. I was in Hobby Lobby today, so come on. Uh, some more cotton, 100% cotton. I really loved these colors. We have kind of a, a muted palette here of gray and orange, pale blue, and mango. I think I'd call that mango. So it was marked $3 a yard. I bought everything off the bolt, which came to three yards and five eighths. And then I thought this was pretty sweet. I have a dress in mind for this fabric. This just looks kind of like a throwback. Oh, maybe a ditzy print cotton. It's on a pale, pale blue background. Almost looks like a little denim background, but it's all cotton. And again, it was $3 a yard, and I told her I would take everything on the bolt, and that came to three and one eighths yards. And that will be a dress. Some of my stuff from Fabric Mart is, it's solid. So 
I don't know, I get really excited about the prints. This is a space dye. Let me take it back here. This is the real color. It's a really nice blue. And it's interesting because it's this color on one side and then it's got very pronounced um, checks on the other side. So that's a knit, stretchy, soft, not see-through. This is super beefy, okay. This, you know what I did? Don't tell my husband. I bought some of this and then I was shopping two days later and I bought more. Yes, I had forgotten. So now I have a ton of it, but it's so nice. It's called Tan Viscose Nylon Elastane Double Faced Heavy interlock Halston knit. This is a legit knit. It's an oatmeal color. It's even heavier than a Ponte. Beautiful. Body bouncing, behaving. And I've got a ton of it. I'm gonna leave you with that. We're at 16 minutes. You know that I could keep going and going and going. I'm buried in fabric, I'm buried in patterns, and I couldn't be happier. I am so happy to be here among you guys who love to sew and we share this great interest. And you know what? It's a wonderful thing. So thank you for being here. Keep sewing. Tell me about your sewing adventures and we'll just roll on. Have a good midweek, everybody. See you soon. Bye.